I've got something good for you today. This is probably one of the coolest spots on the market right now in DC. And that's why I'm showing it to you. This is a two bedroom, two bath loft um, right here in Columbia Heights. It, it's very close to the border of Adams Morgan's at the beginning of Columbia Heights as you're coming from downtown. Uh, the whole unit is about 1700 square feet. It's a three level unit. The first level is really just a walk-in entrance. The next two levels are the living space. You have most of the living space on the main second floor, and then the third floor being the, the loft area. Um, this place is awesome. You know, there, there's, there's, three, there's three elements that I love in, personally for the style that I like in places, and that is using um, chrome, using black and white as, as color finishes, and then of course incorporating wood to bring in that warmth and natural uh, element. These guys have done this perfectly in this unit. It was built in 2016. It still feels like it's brand new. Man, I, I kind of want it for myself. I'll, I'll be honest with you. This is, a, this is a nice place. I'd really enjoy living here. It's only once in a while that I come across a place. There's plenty that you can appreciate uh, different places that come on the market. But there's only a few per year, even as many homes as I look at, that I'll come across and I'll be like, I could do this. I, I personally could live here and I see plenty of these houses. So I'm gonna flip this around. I'm gonna show it to you, something that I want to mention. The style of this home, it has a lot of industrial in it, but it's mixed it with modern, luxurious uh, type of elements. And it even has farmhouse vibe to it. But here's the thing, farmhouse became popular a few years ago. It became, um, it became a fad, right? And here's the problem when that happens. The true farmhouse design is very cool looking and it's, it's nice to be in, and some of the builders are still sticking to the true farmhouse design, incorporating it with luxury, and it feels unique and never really gets old. The problem is, is when it becomes a fad, a lot of companies get involved with decor and cheap styling. You know, you can find almost everything at Home Goods is modern farmhouse, you know, modern farmhouse, and when it becomes a cliche like that you find a lot of cheap workarounds to try to get the vibe, and it really just ruins the class as a whole, if you were to ask me my personal opinion, that's how I feel. But this one, they did it right. Industrial, modern farmhouse, luxurious. It's just, it's awesome. Let's flip it around, let's take a look at it. Okay, so we're in a boutique building here. There's only probably six units or so in the whole building, maybe eight. Um, this is going to be the front entrance door. You do one walk up up a, a half floor, and then you're going into the main uh, living space. So this is on the top floor of this condo building here. So you're, you're a top floor corner unit, and you get a ton of light in here. So first thing I want to mention, this is so cool. First thing I want to mention is this. This place, this whole home, I'll do a walk around while I'm telling you about it, what makes it so cool. This whole condo building used to be an old um, gyrocopter factory. The name of the building is Helicopter Factory. In the early 1900s, these guys used to make gyrocopters. If you don't know what that is, then go ahead, Google it, and look up what a gyrocopter is. You'll recognize it when you see it, and based on your dialect or accent or where you um, hail from in terms of country origin, you may say, uh, Euro or Hero or Gyro, and yes, just like the sandwich. So that's what it is. And what they've done in here, so I can go right back here, they've taken old parts of the factory and incorporated it in the design. This is reclaimed wood from the factory. These are old chain link uh, fences from the helicopter factory. That is so awesome. And parts of these, you know, these are obviously new floors, rustic hardwood floors here, but the steps are reclaimed wood, salvaged wood that they were able to pull out of the factory and put into the design. That, I think that's so cool. I'm pretty sure this is reclaimed as well. It's just been polished up. Very, very, very cool. So as you walk in here, you're getting the main 1,700 square feet of space. You're really feeling it as you walk in here. This kitchen, what a cool setup. Industrial black pendant lighting with the frames. 
You have your quartz countertops, which match perfectly with the whole color scheme that we have in here. This you've seen set up in a few homes. I always like it. I think it traditionally looks good. Um, this is pulling from the, the farmhouse type element, but the wooden shelves and then taking hints from the industrial style would be the, uh, the salvaged piping that they've put on here as hangers. Of course, you have your chef's hood, your GE appliance package. Uh, these windows, nice and big, probably, I'd say these are probably five foot, that main window there in the middle, that's probably a five by five. These guys are probably a three by five, something like that. Yeah, I'd say probably a three by five and a five by five. And here's the great part. This, this area that we're in, God, look at that wall, that wooden accent wall, real wood, real wood. So cool. This is on just a street that makes you feel good. You go up to the window, see a lot of times in DC, you look out, you see office buildings, restaurants, um, commercial type stuff, which is fine. You get used to it when you live in the city, but look at all this greenery. This is just a beautiful neighborhood street. And I'll show you off the back end of the house. It's still beautiful. It's just a really nice, cozy space to live. Of course, because well, why else? This used to be a helicopter factory. So the fan blade that they've put in here resembles the blade of a plane. Very, very cool. Salvaged wood beams coming into the house. We're going to move one back down here. You have mechanical room. That means, you know, AC units and whatnot. You have water heaters. Um, this is actually washer dryer, but mechanicals there, washer dryer. This, I believe, was a coat closet. Go down this hallway here. You have the first bedroom. Nice and big. Really, really big bedroom. Barn doors, but real quickly, let's look at this. This is a secondary bathroom. It's enormous. And just perfect style. I mean, the way that they're bouncing all the colors throughout this home, it's fantastic. Honeycomb flooring, um, based off the uh, honeycomb flooring paired with the subway tile, which we found in the kitchen as well. The recessed soap area. Look at all this light that pours in here. And look, you have this old reclaimed condo building here, which is new as well. I mean, you're in good company. This, this is really cool that there's, uh, there's plenty of old homes here that have been, you know, have had a lift on a, on a reface and they have their own vibe, which is very pleasant to be around. They're fun to take photos of. You also have these guys that have completely gutted and renovated buildings in the area. And it's just, it, it feels like a really cool restaurant that you would go to, but instead they're condos. So they also have a, a terrace up here, a terrace back here. Cool building. Private parking, gated, okay? Private parking all back here. This would be the complex that we're in, okay? That's a separate complex. But you never have to worry about parking. Right back here, the other bathroom. Okay, and then the back bedroom. Plenty of sunlight in both of the bedrooms. Plenty, plenty, plenty of sunlight. You know, originally, originally I wanted to show you guys this house because when I saw it, it, it gave me these mountain, these Colorado vibes uh, in terms of architecture and design, not only on the outside. On the outside, it had this dark, uh, intriguing look to the building. And I was like, well, you know, let me see what the inside is. Sometimes the out exterior will, will trick you. And once I got in here, I was like, oh my gosh, this is, this is perfect. So in every city, no matter what city you are in, 
Cities tend to have trends of architecture and interior design. It's just what has become acceptable in that area. It's what people are used to in that area. It usually, every city has a different vibe and different people gravitate towards the city. With that being said, here in Washington, D.C., we certainly have a, a prevalent design style to our new construction buildings and our homes here. It tends to be modern, luxurious, um, sleek, but you don't typically find a lot of woodworking and warmth and this type of vibe. I mean, you're, it feels like Aspen. It feels like an Aspen resort in here. And I love that that unique element is being brought into this area where we typically don't have that. Yes, we do have different variants of design in DC, but they are very limited. So when you come across one, you just want to snag it up because you know you just don't often have the chance to be a part of one or to see one. Now this is such a bonus, especially with everyone now working from home. You could not ask for a better office. Bright, open, big, airy, you could set up multiple desks. You could have a TV in here. You have plenty of sunlight. It's just an insanely comfortable loft space for both an office as well as a rec area. And then here's the better part. If you ever need some air, you have, because this is a top unit, corner unit, you have your own private terrace, a full private deck. During the day, you can come out here, relax. At night, you can entertain friends. You can have people over. It's huge. This is a two bedroom, two bath. With, with this sized terrace and deck at its private use, nobody else shares this with you. It's only access is this unit. And then once you get up here on this unit, you're looking above everybody else. See your neighbors with their private terraces, which are nice. They're really nice, but this one has the biggest one. It's a whole wraparound deck. The cookouts here. And I mean, you know, sometimes, sometimes you come to some of these renovated properties because this is, this is how DC is. It's an old city and they're going through renovating certain areas and developing them so that, you know, they can bring them up to standard. So oftentimes you'll look across the horizon and you'll be like, okay, well, like that's cool, but like this looks like a junkyard and this is meh. But here it's just a really good view. The old Victorian row homes that are still there, keeping their architecture. You have old colonials in the distance, historical buildings in the distance, monuments, the old um, churches over there. It's hard to see in the video, but it's way out there. It's just a really great skyline to be looking at. I love this place. I really do. I'm glad that uh, I was able to capture it. And how cool is that? Okay. Lock that. Head right back down here. See, not just the chain link fence, but the actual base, this, it's all salvaged. I love that. I think it is so cool. I think it is so cool. It's a piece of history in your house. So cool. So cool. Anyways, that's, that's what this tour is today. I guess I'll go ahead and flip this. As I mentioned, this place is called the Helicopter Factory. It was an early 1900s um, gyrocopter factory. Very, very cool. And what they've done inside of it is they've combined both farmhouse, industrial, and reclaimed and salvaged materials from the factory in order to create this whole home. It's a two bedroom, two bath condo, technically, even though it is the size and feel of a townhouse, it is technically a condo. Um, it's sitting at $1.1 million and 1,700 square feet with location. Again, Columbia Heights. You're right as you enter into Columbia Heights. 
on your west side, immediately on your west side, you have Adams Morgan's, plenty of stuff there. You're right on up, you're right off of a main road here in Columbia Heights. You have plenty of restaurants, shopping and all that around you. You're dead center in the middle of everything. If you wanna go four minutes to downtown, you can do that as well. Street out here, again, try to show it in a reverse camera method, but just an awesome neighborhood street. The greenery, this is what DC is about. DC does a wonderful job once you get into the, the residential areas of having this combination in Northwest of, of greenery and city living at the same time. You don't feel like you're immediately in a concrete jungle. You feel some warmth, you feel some, some this is home type feeling. So I really like that they put this whole complex right in the middle of this, this street here. Um, yeah, that's it. So now you've seen it. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know.